So this question is a translate word problem question. We know that just given how long this question is, right? This is not typical. Uh, this question is a very long question. So what we're going to do strategy-wise is make sure to read one sentence at a time, pausing in between sentences to make sure we understood what we read, and definitely writing down and translating any quantitative information as we read it. So the first sentence here says the effectiveness of a mineral supplement in the soil on the growth of a particular species of plant is being studied. All right, we got it. There's a mineral supplement being studied. A botanist planted 1,000 seeds in a greenhouse so that the growing conditions for all seeds would be as identical as possible. So let me just write that down. 1,000 seeds. Okay. Next sentence. The seeds were obtained from two 500 seed packages. All right. So these 1,000 actually came from, right, they were sourced from two different locations, or two different packages. Basically, each had had 500. The seeds from one package were planted in soil that had the supplement added. Okay, so let's say here, I'll say S plus for supplement added. And the seeds from the second package were planted in soil that did not have the supplement added. So here, I'll call that S minus, no supplement. How should the experiment be changed to allow the researcher to conclude whether the supplement has an effect on plant growth? Okay, so here's the issue, and I'm not going to read the answers first, because on the surface, it seems like this is a good experiment, right? You have half of your seeds are going to the supplement added soil, the other half is going to the supplement uh, minus soil, but the problem is these are two different packages, right? So if, let's say, one of these packages had defective seeds or something else had happened to it before we even purchased the package, we wouldn't really know, right? So a better method would be to either mix these seeds up and kind of randomly, so, you know, mix, mix the two bags together and then randomly sort 500 seeds. So that means you'd guarantee that you'd have some mixture of seeds from both bags. Um, you could also do one step further and split these 500 into 250, right, with S plus and S minus. And the same thing here, right, 250 and 250 for S plus and S minus. So just understanding that the issue here is that these two, five, these two groups of 500 came from two different bags is the problem that we need to solve for. So now let's look at the answer choices. Choice A, one of the packages of seeds should be planted outdoors rather than in a greenhouse. I don't think so. Right, planting it outdoors actually makes this less controlled. You don't know what's in the rainfall. You don't know what somebody may be spraying on it or maybe in the wind. So that's that's not true. We want to make we want to have more control to allow the researcher to have a good understanding of what's going on with the soil. Um, so the greenhouse is definitely the best place for it to be. Choice B: half of the seeds from each package should be randomly assigned to each soil type. I like that that would look kind of like this 250 idea, right? Half of the seeds from each package. So that's a good idea, I think. Choice C, all 1,000 seeds should receive the supplement. Well, no, because then we have nothing to compare it to, right? So for all we know, not receiving the supplement would have the exact same type of growth as receiving the supplement, which would tell us that the supplement was not really useful at all. So we would not even know that unless we have some seeds uh, not receiving supplements. So it's not the answer to remove supplement. Choice D, not true. We already explained why. Right? So choice B here is the best answer.